I heard Larry Gatlin say on a family reunion one time that, that every artist in this business owes Ralph a nickel of yep. every dollar they make. I probably owe him 50 cents of every dollar I've ever made. However, Larry's <laughs> five cents is a lot more money than my 50 cents, but I, I do owe this man well, however a However means I ain't going to get it. <laughs> he, that's right. He, uh, he took me in from Cookville, and I, I just can't. I mean, it's like going to broadcast university to be around Ralph Emery every day. I, when I came to town... Because I, I was in radio, rock and roll radio as a disc jockey. But SM was a station that you could, back in those days, you could hear in 37 states because of that 50,000-watt monster. And you did all nights. Now, nobody in that day wanted to be the midnight jock. He didn't want to either. He just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> but you, you answering my question? <laughs> I just remember that. <laughs> I thought it was my wife. No. <laughs> the, uh, uh, listening to you at night is what built not only your career for later with TNN, that the, the, the persona of who Ralph Emery was, but it also ingratiated you to, the, to many, many, Marty Robbins, Merle Haggard, all of these people that you were the first ones to play their record. Who were some of those? Well, I, uh, when I got to WSM in 1957, the three newest acts on the Grand Ole Opry were Johnny Cash, the Everly Brothers, and George Jones. Wow. And uh, I know the first time I interviewed Johnny Cash, he was bigger than life. Mm -hmm. He intimidated me. <laughs> it took me a while to... to assimilate people like that. And Marty Robbins couldn't sleep, so he came up a lot. And uh, uh, Buck Owens, I think I launched Buck's career because there, Buck was new at Capitol Records and not many people were into him and playing his records. But he had a record called Under Your Spell Again with a steel guitar player that I loved named Ralph Mooney who played a homemade steel guitar mm -hmm. and got a sound I had never heard before. I, uh, though I don't play and never have, I am a big fan of musicians. Right. And the uh, fact is, Roy Clark told me one time, he said, I've always thought you had the heart of a musician because one night I heard you play the end of a Hank Thompson record six times. 